Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing something a bit different. I just want to clean up, kind of like organize all of my makeup. So I don't really know how this video is going to go. I wanted to do like a shop my stash video, which is when like you go through the products you already own and you shop your stash basically. Um, but I also need to get some more spring summer theme makeup into my everyday makeup drawer which is what this is right here plus some other things on the side that i'll show you in a minute because i need to start kind of going through and cycling my makeup so that i actually use the stuff that i have and i don't keep just buying new products and then putting them away and collecting them which i like to do also i do like to collect makeup but i think it's more practical and will save me more money if I actually start to use the stuff that I have already. So like I said, this is my everyday makeup drawer. So when I'm filming and I mention my everyday makeup drawer or if you like hear me go into a drawer, I'm going into this because this is like my basic, mostly it's my basic products. So things that if I'm gonna do my makeup like really quickly or you know just for like a day where I'm going out shopping or something I don't know then I just reach for whatever is in here I don't do like a full you know glam eye look so that's what this is but there's obviously other things that I not even using or that are just like cluttering up everything so let's just go through this and hopefully it won't be too long <laughs> but let's just grab this stuff first so I do have samples in here I have um, the bite what is this the bite beauty agave lip balm and I think there's a scrub yeah these are samples that I was trying out and I have the agave lip masks in three different shades you can see here I was keeping these in here because I did want to try the bite products everyone's talking about them but do I really need this in my everyday drawer I already have a lip balm and a scrub so I think I'll just put these aside for now I should probably put them I have a skincare bag so I might do that but look, this is pretty cute, right? For sample. I actually don't love the Agave Lip Mask. I feel like it doesn't give enough hydration. Like, it feels really nice on the lips, but it's not like the, the Laneige uh, Lip Sleeping Mask that I really like. Or even, uh, I have another lip balm on my nightstand that by Pharmacy. That one's good also. So, it's not better than those. So I'll just put those aside and I do also have the NARS soft matte complete concealer sample that I actually do use often but there's so much of it that I've just kept it and I also had another Tarte sample the Maracuja creaseless concealer this is actually a sample of the old formula though so I think I'm just gonna get rid of that and these were lip product samples from Bare Minerals. Which like, do I really need them? I have, I've actually tried both of these already, which is why they're in there. Um, this is the, one, the lipstick, I forget what it's called. The one that's in like a black tube. It's very um, slippery. So I don't need those anymore. And should I keep this i think i'm gonna keep this though there's just so much product like that's still full um and i really like this so until it like dries out or i just realize like okay i like it i'll buy it another time um i'm gonna keep this um i also have a sample of the pore professional um, sometimes when I feel like my pores on my nose are looking pretty bad, I will use this. I use like 
literally like a millimeter at a time because if you use too much of this product it has the reverse effect and it will just like make your makeup slip off so this sample is gonna last me forever i guess i'll keep it in my drawer for those times and it fits nicely in this little slot by the way i got this at some kind of home store so i think it might have been winners winners or home scents so if you're american i'm talking about tj maxx or home goods <laughs> they're the same store for some reason they're just called something different but yeah anyway um i also have this mac um cream highlighter this is in the shade iced up I think I am going to keep this in my drawer for spring and summer because some days I don't want to put any powder on my face, especially when it's like a drier time. So I'm going to keep that for times when I'm doing cream bases. Then I have this Hourglass blush in the shade Mood Exposure. This was a project, no, this was a product in my project pan. If you don't know what that is, I'm doing a project pan, but I haven't talked about it on my channel. I'm doing it like in real life just for myself where I'm trying to use up products that are getting older in my collection or just things like I know I could use up more than some others. So this was like the blush I was using all the time in the fall and winter, but I feel like this is not a spring or summer shade. It's like a, a cool toned like lavender you can't even tell really I don't, there's like stained swatches on my hand so you can't even see that but it's just to me this is not a spring summer shade so i'm gonna put this away in my collection and then replace it with something else so depending on how this video goes i don't know if i'll film that part but let's just keep going and not talk too much <laughs> This is the bronzer that I'm always using, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm sure you've seen it before. So I have been getting a lot of use out of it. It's actually getting kind of flat um, in the pan because um, if you guys didn't know, this product, like it's all bumpy when you first get it. It's like waves, but it's flattening out. So it is showing some use um i'm gonna put this away because i feel like it's a very light bronzer um and i prefer like a more maybe like a more red toned shimmery bronzer for spring and summer like one that actually looks like it's a sun you know like a sun kiss look as opposed to like a more cool toned bronze look so I'm going to put this away. It's been getting a lot of use, so that's fine to put it back in my collection. Then I had this Tarte uh, Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation in the shade Fair Light Neutral. So this product actually doesn't exist anymore, but there's like, I don't know if it's been like 100% proven, but this is supposedly the repackaged foundation that they have out now the shape tape hydrating foundation i want to say so they basically just repackaged it apparently but it used to come in this jar like this this is the first foundation that i ever bought when i started getting into makeup so it's getting old but i am trying to use it up and i actually do like it um so I think I will keep it in this drawer just so I can use it up. As you can see, I've used quite a bit, but there's still a lot of product in there. So I'm gonna keep this. This I use on days where I'm doing like a more full glam look because it is more full coverage. I'm gonna keep that there. Um, I also have my Aveda loose powder this is the only loose powder that i own so i'm gonna keep it in this drawer it's fine i mean because it's the only i mean it's not the only loose powder that i own there's another one right here but it's the only one that i am using 
and others I just have in sample form so I'm gonna keep this and until I use it up I am kind of like halfway done I suppose this is a big jar of powder and I've had it for a long time so it was a backup though I did have another one of these and then I opened this one so yeah I'll keep that in here I'm gonna put it right in the square for now but we'll see if it stays I also have this bite um, line and define lip primer so I was trying to use this for days where I'm gonna put a liquid lipstick on it's a clear product like this it's supposed to smooth out your lips and be a primer for but I think it's meant to be used like for bite beauty products um, not necessarily for like liquid lipsticks from other brands but yeah I think I will keep it in here because I don't see when I'm gonna use this another time like not I'm not gonna use it by itself so if I don't keep it in this drawer I probably will never use it I think it came in a little like bite beauty gift set which is why I have that um, so I'm gonna keep that in here I'm gonna put it aside for now because I don't know where it's gonna go and then I have this elf uh, brown sugar there's no name on it but it's the lip scrub in a stick form if you can see I actually really like this product I'm gonna keep it in this drawer I use this on days where I have really bad chapped lips and I just want them to get more smooth then I use this I wouldn't use this every day because the scrub is quite abrasive I don't know if you can see it's very chunky and there is like actual sugar in there so it's like one that you can lick off after if you want so I'm gonna keep that as well and this is the lip balm that I use every time I do my makeup I'm just trying to get rid of it because it's super old um, if you can see I'm almost at the bottom but there's tons of product in here um, yeah but it's still working fine it smells good I like what it does for my lips so it's actually a lip butter so I'm gonna keep that it does I'm sure this doesn't even exist anymore it was by it was like a Barbie and cake collab but yeah I'm gonna keep that and this is what I put it on with this is a lip brush from Aveda it works like that it's very useful so I'm keeping that Then I have this Becca Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. Um, I, my cousin gifted this to me. It is a powder, obviously. It's very smooth. Um, I have only used this once or twice, and I did notice it brightens the under eye, but it's just not something I always reach for because either I already put powder on because I'm baking so that's when I put powder like a thick layer under my eye and I do my eyeshadow and then I swipe it off because it catches like fallout or it will help your concealer stay on longer um so I don't know when I'm gonna use this hmm should I keep it in here hmm I might keep it in here. I'll put it aside for now. If there isn't any room, then I'll put it away. Oh, I have another lip scrub from Lush. This is the... Um, I forget what it's called in English. Sugar Plum Fairy? Yeah. Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Scrub. It looks like this. There's tons of product in there still. Is this even still good? <laughs> the problem with Lush products is that because they're handmade, like fresh, whatever, they don't last as long. Oh, this is super expired. <laughs> but it still smells fine. I'm gonna keep it for now, because these are expensive. I'm not just gonna throw away something because it's 
expired and there's nothing else wrong with it, you know? So I'm gonna keep that. Do I need two lip scrubs though? No, not really. I think I'm gonna put this in my skincare uh, bag because this is not something I'm gonna use before putting my makeup on so it shouldn't it doesn't need to be in this drawer this is a extremely old benefit eyeshadow um in the shade low profile i don't even think they make these anymore but it's just a cream matte shadow i keep this in my drawer for times when i'm using a palette that doesn't have a shade that's light enough like this to set my eye primer or just to give like a even base so that's why i have this in here and i'm gonna keep it in here for that purpose even though it's really old it still works fine i like the shade of it so i'll just keep that in here and i have this um i don't know if this brand is iby or ibby i guess it's iby iby beauty trio eyeshadow palette in three's company this came from like my first boxy charm ever it's really nice actually it looks like that the only thing is that these are all are these no this is a matte shade um i thought i would get more use out of it so i put it in my drawer but because it's under like all kinds of other products, I haven't been using it. But this is a matte shadow, so I could use that for a lot of things. And this is a really nice um, like inner corner highlight. I think I will keep it in here. And since it's older, I want to get more use out of it. This, I think I'm getting rid of. This is my Aveda like um it's like an empty palette that you buy and then you fill it with products because it's a magnet but i never use it because it's under other products so i never feel like getting it out and this is like super old not that the formula has gone off or anything i mean and this has obviously been used a lot this is a bronzer. These are blush shades that you're supposed to swirl together. And these are eyeshadows. Should I keep this to get more use out of it? I mean, this is a really nice shade for spring. If I do, though, it means I have to put less product in this drawer. I'm going to keep it for now. If I find that it's just not performing as well anymore, I will probably get rid of it. So, yeah. I'll keep that in here. With this and this. Um, then I have my Tatcha the Pearl Illuminating whatever under light and eye treatment, which I have been using um, every time I do my makeup. I'm just trying to get use out of it. I don't know if it's doing anything. It's very expensive. I've complained about this a lot already. <laughs> uh, it looks like this. The only thing is like, it's just an extra step in my routine because it's not a concealer on its own, but it's also not like a skincare product in that I can't put this on at night because there's actually like a makeup aspect to it. So yeah. But I'm going to keep it in this drawer because if I don't, I'll never use it. It kind of fits here. Then I have my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer. I'm keeping this because I'm trying to use it up. But it's taking forever because I guess there's a lot of product in here. But probably not more than anything else. I just think maybe it's the texture because it's very liquidy and watery it goes a long way but i don't love this concealer and it doesn't work very well with other products although i did use it today and it does work really well with my makeup forever water blend i think because they're both like water-based products that they mesh well together so yeah but i'm gonna keep it in this drawer to get use out of it and use it up 
I have my Kush Mascara by Milk, which I'm trying to use up as well. Um, but I really do not love this mascara. But um, because it's already open and it costs so much money, I am keeping it in my everyday makeup drawer. So that's staying here. I'm also keeping my Hourglass Fiber Brow Gel. I thought this was almost empty, but I keep using it and it seems to be fine. I guess it's just getting a bit dry, but it's still working very well. And I use this every time I do my makeup. I also am keeping my Kat Von D Locket Concealer Cream. This is the concealer I use for blemishes. Um, I don't use this for under eye or highlighting, so I am keeping this just to use it up. It's getting old, and I guess we're like not supposed to talk about Kat Von D anymore <laughs> on YouTube for various reasons. So yeah, I'm just gonna use that up. I'm going to also keep my Tarte Fake Awake Eyeliner. This is a nude liner that I use in my waterline on days when like, I feel like my eyes are looking like tired or small. This helps to make them look bigger and more awake as in, you know, the name suggests Fake Awake. I really do like the formula of this also. It's very creamy and it's one of these like twist up kind of liners um yeah so i really like that i'm keeping it in my drawer um i also have my primers here so my eyeshadow primer by urban decay i'm trying to use that up although like i never use eye primer <laughs> because i don't feel like i need to but i know i don't know I'm just going to keep it in here because otherwise I won't even reach for it ever. And then my glitter primer by NYX. This is new. I've only used it once before but it worked really well. And I use this for like um, press on glitters. Um, but you can also use it for just like metallic shadows that you want to stick more and make more opaque. Um, and it's a good like dupe I guess for the Too Faced one because it's like a drugstore price. Even though NYX is pretty expensive for drugstore, it's still cheaper than the Too Faced one. So I'm keeping all that. So let's put it back here. And this by the way has to still fit in my drawer so I might have to like squeeze it in like that. We'll see. Um, then I have this lipstick Crema Veda that I'm trying to use up, but I think I'm going to put it away for now because it's a more like fall vampy shade. It's a very like brown red. It's called Cherry Bud. So I'm going to put that away. And then I have these two sample size powders. This one is the Kat Von D uh, setting powder in translucent and this is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. This is more like a foundation I believe, like a powder foundation. Should I keep? I don't need two powders so I'm gonna put this Kat Von D powder away. But if this is a powder foundation, I think I should start using it. Um, just to see how I like it. I think I've heard people with dry skin like this, even though it is a powder. Um, it's supposed to be hydrating. If that's the same formula, I'm actually not sure. But because it's so small, I think I could just use it up. So I will keep it in here. And then I have some brow products here. I have the e.l.f. Uh, okay, e.l.f. doesn't have any names on their products. It's only on the packaging, I guess. But one side of this is a um, eyebrow gel. And the other side is supposed to be an eyelash thing. But, like, I don't understand why you would put clear gel on your eyelashes. I don't know. <laughs> 
Um, so I would probably just use both for eyebrow gel. But I'm not using this because I don't feel like I need to when I use my hourglass fiber brow gel. Like there's no need to put another gel on top. So I think I'm just going to put this away as a backup. I don't know why I even have this to be honest. I guess it was like because I saw someone using it on YouTube and they said it was good. And then e.l.f. is so cheap that I just thought I'd try it. But yeah, I'm not using it so... I'll put that away. This I'm trying to finish up. This is the Benefit Brow Vo Conditioning Primer. Um, I actually do like this product, but it's not something I would ever repurchase. Just because Benefit is expensive for one thing. And I just don't know what this is really doing. It's a brow primer, so it looks like this. It's one of those products that you twist up and the product comes out and then there's like um, like a rubbery comb on the end so you comb it through your brows. Um, I don't know like I feel like this does like soften my brow hairs if that's a thing but I just don't see how this is very useful. It's just an, another one of those products like this Tatcha whatever illuminating thing um it's like a thing that's an extra step that actually isn't doing much of a difference so what is the purpose of it <laughs> but either way this is pretty old it should be almost done by now so i'm gonna keep it in here and just use it up um the only thing is i have to remember to use it because sometimes i forget that it exists but i'm gonna put it back here and then I have the Benefit Cabral. I actually got this from Influencer, and this is the full size. So this is like $34, I think. So it looks like this. It's a brow pomade, and the applicator is actually in the cap here. If you pull this out, you have the brush on the end. I actually do like this product, but again, I don't use... Um, a brow pomade and my hourglass fiber brow gel I don't think I need both because I don't do like defined brow looks I do more like natural like wispy brows but I do use this like when I'm doing a more glam look and if I don't keep it in here it's probably just gonna dry up so I'll keep it in my drawer so that was everything that was in here but i also had some other stuff that fits in the drawer but not in this container so i'll show you that it's this stuff here let me see so i have this um makeup forever palette i have three powders in here this was in my last favorites video because i really like it a lot these powders are so soft and smooth and just really nice and i like all the shades for spring so i am going to keep this in my drawer okay so i had to charge my battery but these are the other products that are in my everyday makeup drawer that don't fit in that little tray thing so um, the first thing I have here is my MAC Nutcracker Sweet um, Peach Face Compact. This is one of my favorite highlighters ever. It's called Tutu. And this blush is called At Dusk. This was like the holiday collection from, I think, 2015. This has been in my drawer for a, a while. I was using it like throughout fall and winter so I'm gonna put this back in my collection but like I said that is like my favorite highlighter or one of them so yeah I just have already gotten a lot of use out of this and this to me is not a spring summer blush anyway so I'll put that away um, I have another sample here of the Shiseido Instroke Eyeliner I think it came with a little brush. Yeah, it did. And now I don't know where that brush is. Um, I think I'll just get rid of this. 
Yeah, it was just like a gel liner. I don't really need a sample of this anymore because I have like full size gel liners that I'm not even using. Um, I think this came from Influencer, yeah, in a Shiseido box. Um, so yeah, I don't think I need to keep this anymore. Um, I've also found this in the drawer, which I even forgot was in there. It's a sample size of the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color. This is the shade Vanilla Kiss. So it's a cream eyeshadow stick. It looks like that. If the camera can focus. Yes. So um, obviously you have to put this down before you put any powders on. And I think I kept it in there because I intended to use it as like a base for my eyeshadow. But like I said, I forgot it was even in there. <laughs> so I guess I'll keep it just to try it because I don't even think I've tried this yet. And I heard good things about these caviar sticks so I will keep it in my drawer. I also have here my MAC Fix Plus which has like two or three uses left in it if you can see there it's practically empty uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep it in my drawer just to use it up and then I'll put it aside so I can back to Mac it I'm not even sure how that works really I just keep hearing people talk about it I think you have to save up five full-size products and you can exchange it for a lipstick I think something like that so I guess it's worth trying since I do have a few MAC products in my collection um, and this is actually one of my favorite products um, overall so yeah uh, I'm gonna keep it in there and then I'm also keeping my coconut skin smoothie primer from First Aid Beauty. This is another one of my favorite products overall. Sometimes I just wear this like even if I'm not putting foundation on because it just feels so nice um, on the skin. It gives a bit of a glow and it's moisturizing so it's great for dry skin. So I'm keeping that and I will repurchase this when I run out because I feel like it's the best primer that I've tried so far. And then I have my favorite eyeshadow trio from Smashbox. I've done a few videos using this. Um, this is like the perfect everyday eyeshadow look in one, if I can open it. Yeah, the only thing is <laughs> they're hard to open, so it looks like that. This is just like a cool toned everyday eye look. I really love it. The shadows blend really well and they're pretty pigmented even though they look like super, not dull, because <laughs> it, it is like a nice look that it gives, but I think you know what I mean. And this is a really good shade as well to use with palettes that don't have a shade like that in it. So, um, I think I am gonna keep this in the drawer. Actually, if I keep this, I probably won't use the other uh, IBY trio, so I actually am going to put this back in my collection for now. And then I have these two Bella Pierre products. Um, one is a loose blush, looks like this, perfect like neutral shade, and this is a mineral foundation. So I actually do have a powder foundation and this one is older than the bare minerals one so i think i'm gonna keep this instead um just to get some use out of it it looks like that and if i don't like it i'll pass it on um because it is like practically full so i'll, I'll take out the bare minerals one this little guy for now and put this in and this blush I already have two blushes no I have three blushes so I don't need to keep this in that drawer so I'm gonna put it back in my collection um, and that was it for my 
everyday makeup drawer. It looks like this now. Maybe I should zoom out. Um, that's what it looks like. It's still not like super organized the way I would like it to be. But I think I can see everything a bit better. And I also have these products to put in my drawer. So that's a lot. And these are things that I want to get... Either I want to use up totally so I can get rid of them or like my favorite like everyday things. Yeah, I think that's it. I was also going to do like a shop my stash but I think that's for another video because this has been long enough. <laughs> so that should be coming up soon. Um, yeah, because I already have enough like spring themed things in here like this blush in the makeup forever palette that i have i really like that as a spring summer shade and the two in the aveda palette that i will be testing out so yeah i don't want to stuff this drawer full of things because then i'll just be back in the same place where i'm not using my products i'm just keep reaching for the same things so yeah that was it i hope you like this video and um, if you did, give it a like. <laughs> uh, I always forget my outro. Subscribe. Whoops. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!